Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Finally, Ongo's car is back to its summer setup. He got the wheels back on, he got all the suspension, ride height stuff kind of figured out. How you feeling, Ongo? Dude, it's, it looks good now. It looks hella it looks good, good, dude. Now. Let's do it. So Ongo got the front bumper off because we have an alignment this morning and it probably won't clear with the bumper on. First off, look at how much camber Ongo is running. And second, look how much stretch he's running now. That is crazy, fucking Ongo, bro. We're gonna head over to the tire shop and get Ongo's car aligned, cause the last time, Ongo didn't get his car aligned, and his tires, yeah. <laughs> A little bit of advice for anyone who's ever replacing their axles. I think the best bet is to always go OEM, huh? OEM. Cause Ongo went with an aftermarket axle. On my car, I'm running 04 STI axles with a 05 knuckle and hub. So the thing with mine is my tone rings are sticking out and it causes the ABS light to come on which means that it locks my diff and then when I do like a full lock turn it'll like start clunking. Mine, since mine aren't o OEM, my uh, mine are sticking out also so if I do a full lock turn you can feel like it starts to jitter and like it starts to lock up on its own too. So it's almost like the car skips, like if you have a 4x4 car and you do a full lock you guys know what I'm talking about. So to kind of prevent that, Ongo has to put his DCCD in the lowest setting, which sends most of the power to the rear of the car. Remember guys, just go OEM when it comes to axles. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Have you noticed people roasting us because we say hella a lot? Dude, like, I bro, know. I don't... It's just like a... I don't know. Where we're from, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> Let's go to Rayleigh's. Let's go. Let's get something to drink or something. Ongo and I are walking to the grocery <laughs> store trying to kill some time. We have an hour to kill. We have no other car. <laughs> I didn't really think of this when you were like, we have an hour to... Just do nothing. <laughs> I would have drove or something. When Ongo doesn't have a haircut versus when Ongo gets a haircut. Ira Ongo. <laughs> He's a new man when he gets a haircut. 69. Set. Five. Put it on. Set. Scan your card for something extra. That is hella cheap. 74. One dollar. Ten cents. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 in uh, we're inside. <laughs> okay. They called Ongo and you can hear them back there talking. <laughs> and we're just sitting in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Dude, that dude, that wasn't quick. even an hour. Dude, 20 minutes. That was 30 minutes. All right. Well, alignment's done. That was fast, dude. Not even 20, like 20 minutes, and his car's done. What do the numbers look like, Omni? Oh, me fuck, the backs are hella, dude. Hella camber? <laughs> what did I tell him? Left rear, negative six. Left right is negative seven. I don't know how. <laughs> dude, that's so much. And the much. fronts are negative 4.5, both, <laughs> both. Oh my God. The good thing is, Ongo's car is aligned, ready to go. So negative 4.5 in the front. Negative seven and six in the rear. <laughs> Do you know what I told, told myself? If I couldn't get these to fit, I was gonna slap my my struts to do more camera. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> they fit, so. Oh no, bro! Oh my god, dude! I thought negative three was bad on my car, and you're over here at negative seven. I was reading. After negative nine, you risk like pulling out your axles. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that. It makes sense. That's crazy. Just putting too much stress on, stress, stress on them. We just left Les Schwab and we're heading back because Ongo's steering wheel. Check this out. Hold it's it like, straight, Ongo. That's straight. No, like hold the steering wheel oh, straight so though. Look, look at that. Go. <laughs> <We're cool. Yeah. laughs> when you put the steering wheel straight, the car goes to the right. But then if the steering wheel is like slightly off, it'll go straight. So we're gonna go back and see maybe if they can fix that. You probably had it like like this, like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's like off. It's hella off, dude. <laughs> it's just off, which for me, I don't know. I feel like that would bug me. 
it feels just a little off, you know? From what I know from alignments and what Javi has like told me is that he ties the seatbelt to the steering wheel while he, while he aligns it so that it stays straight. So that's probably something they didn't do. I don't know. All right, going back in. Getting it fixed, Dongo. It's hella camber, dude. <laughs> now that, see, now that you see someone else driving your car, you realize how much fucking camber you're running, dude. <laughs> All right, good to go. Let's see how it drives. Should be better now, huh? I hope so. It is straight. There we go, that's better. Oh yeah. Cubo, what's good? Dad? Sorry, we took long. Hmm. It's cause well, fucking Ongo's steering wheel was off. Hmm. I washed my car, I helped Chino wash his. <laughs> Chino. Clean the wheels. Dude, Chino, I only see him once a month. Oh, you're one of those. Well, when it's once a month, yeah. Buddy, I literally saw you the other day. Hold on, let's go. Damn. That does look sick, dude. Oh. Now you just need this one. Damn, look at that. That's sick. You guys didn't know Chino has carbon, like, everywhere. Right here. Yeah, that's sick. 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 Made it back home. Ongo's gonna throw the bumper back on. All right, bumper is back on. Like I said before, Ongo got the suspension all dialed in. So now he's able to air out and actually have the car almost touch the ground. So it looks really good. The backs look good, the fronts look good. Let's see it, Ongo. Okay, so this is the setting all the way up. This is how it looks in the front so now Ongo is going to air out all the way <laughs> oh shit that's crazy dude fucking Ongo well your driveway is not flat either so so the backs are fender to lip just how Ongo likes it and the fronts are almost there but this is about as low as Ongo is going to be able to go I think at this point the tire, you said touches the, the top of the fender, right? Like the arch? Yeah, so that's probably as low as he'll be able to go. The driveway is a little messed up, so you can't really tell, but for the most part, it's super low. Take a look at it one more time. And that's the camber. Oh! <laughs> God damn! Later. Later. Ongo has some things that he needs to go take care of, but we are gonna meet up a little bit later to get some pictures once the sun goes down a little bit. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. We are back. Ongo is setting up his car so we can get some pictures. Sun went down quite a bit, so it should look a little bit better. Look at how much lower it sits than the last time that we messed with the struts. Damn. How does it drive now? It's there, huh? Does it drive good? The alignment? Yeah, it's better. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get some shots of Ongo's car to end the vlog. Damn, it looks so good, dude.
just got done shooting Ongo's car. This thing looks so crazy. I love how it just sits so much lower now. Like just compared to like my height, it's so crazy how low it is, dude. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. You happy on or what? I'm happy now. Nice it's oh, like yeah. there too. The extensions, huh? The, the extensions. Diffuser still needs to go back on. But it's looking really, really good. I've always said it myself, ride height can do so much for you. When a car is lower, it just looks so much better. And then wheels, of course. Dude, honestly, oh, dude, I'm hell happy now. <laughs> I think that's where we're gonna end the vlog for today. Let Ongo know what you guys would like to see on his car next. Maybe a splitter? I don't know. Oh, what the? No? I don't know. You used to run a splitter? Man, I broke the next day. <laughs> Imagine now, though. Dude, it would. I don't even know if there'd be room for it now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.